Hi, welcome to this introductory week on IoT topologies or how the devices are organized into a network around the gateway. IoT networks, just as their counterpart, the Internet, are structured networks where constrained devices are organized in a given hierarchy. This network arrangement is called a topology, which indicates how the constrained devices are interconnected. More specifically, IoT networks consist of sensors and actuators that operate in a given field. This constraint sensor and actuator nodes are able to communicate among each other and possibly also with external devices on the wider Internet. A very intuitive network arrangement is a set of nodes that collect environment measurements and send these measurements to a gateway, often called a border router. A gateway typically comes with multiple network interfaces. The wireless interface to communicate within the low power wireless network and the wired interface to connect the low power wireless network to either a local computer or to the outside world, the Internet. Therefore, a gateway is typically mains powered in order to be able to run more powerful software than the sensor or actuator nodes. The following are the most popular network topologies that can be formed to enable the nodes to connect to the gateway. First, we have the start topology in which the nodes are within the radio propagation or the range of the gateway, and thus they can directly communicate with the gateway. The main advantage in this topology is its simplicity, meaning that the nodes only turn on their radio when they have something to transmit, which makes them very energy efficient. However, if the nodes are out of the propagation range of the gateway, they cannot participate in the network. Next, we have the tree topology, in which some of the nodes might be not in the radio propagation of the gateway. Thus, this approach lets some of the nodes to operate as relay for others by forming a multi-hop tree topology that is rooted in the gateway. Even though the multi-hop tree topology overcomes the issue of a start topology, if one of the relaying nodes crashes or the link quality drops, all of its descendants in the network became uh, disconnected. Finally, we have the mesh topology. It is an extension of the tree topology to which one has added redundant paths. Each node in the network has at least two neighbors to transmit the data packet to. As a result, the mesh topology overcomes the limitations of the tree topology and even if some of the nodes go off, it will neither impact the multi-hop network nor the traffic flow. Mesh-based topologies are the most suitable and popular among IoT-based applications. Therefore, both from academic institutions as well as from the industrial companies, a lot of focus has been put on efficiently designing low-power wireless mesh network while guaranteeing the envisioned trade-off level among the four following elements. The network capacity, the end-to-end -end network latency, the end-to-end -end network reliability, and the energy consumption. For instance, a typical trade-off scenario for industrial applications is to target high network reliability and bounded latency at the cost of network capacity and energy consumption. Next, in the week one, we will start with a protocol stack that is adapted to the Internet of Things and more precisely, we will tackle the second layer in which we will study the time-slotted channel hopping TS. CH, Medimax Control Protocol. Now, are you ready? Let's start.